Hey guys, and um, welcome to another Let's Hunt the Hunter. Um, today, I think we're going to go after Mule Deer with the bow. I haven't take, taken a Mule Deer in um, a long time, so uh, let's let's have a little look, see if, if we can get another one. Um, my general idea is to wander up through here, over to this tr stand. Oops, wrong button. Still happens to the pros, guys. So, uh, we'll end up at this stand. I've had some luck calling them in. They're usually in this section here for me. Um, I've heard some people get them over here. Um, I find a lot of pheasants and hog through. Uh, not hog, coyote and pheasant through here. This little area here. So, I'm going to take my time. I'll wander up there and um, you guys will be back when something interesting. Alright, guys. Um just found some mule deer tracks. I can't tell if they're male or female at this level. I have, like I said, I haven't um, tracked them in a long time, so I have a feeling it's these female, these does I've been hearing on the uh, road just down here. They're pointing in the right direction, so um, I think I'll leave these and just head on over to the stand, and um, we'll see what happens when we get there. So. Um, if you guys are enjoying the series, I'd really... Oh, pheasant, not interested in you today. I hate pheasant hunting. Um, if you guys are interested in the series, I'd very much love uh, a like, a subscribe, anything like that. I would, If you guys want, I, I'm planning on doing a request episode next time, so leave a comment in the YouTube, in YouTube, and um, we'll, um, I'll... I'll hunt what you want me to hunt, really. I've got every weapon in the game at the moment. I have a preference for the bow and the rifle, but, you know, I'll give anything a go. Shotgun, um, that sort of thing. And they're fairly old. I'm just going to keep going. So, if you guys want, that'd be fantastic. And um, I'll get, get you guys back when something interesting happens. Alright, it uh, looks like they're just up around this bend, so I have an idea of what I'm going to do here. I love this um, tripod, it's absolutely fantastic. Uh, it looks like it's a whole group of males that have just passed through this region about oh, 50 minutes or so ago, so I'm going to set this up there, hopefully they're far enough away that I won't spook them. And this time, instead of a call, I'm going to uh, scent them in. I don't use the scents too often, so if you guys think I'm using them wrong or something like that, please let me know. So, um, I'm just going to go and spray this somewhere. I'm not entirely sure where, but As you can see, they've just recently passed through here, so hopefully they're willing to come back. Might just walk. They're a fair way away. These rocks look. Alright guys, well, um, when I get a uh, sight of them, I'll um, bring you guys back for the kill, hopefully. Alright, until then. Alright guys, I don't know if you can see him. He's directly in the centre of the screen, just walking across now. Um, he's too far away for me to tell if he's a good score or not. He's hopefully the first of a small group of males. Um, that's why I never use the auto reload, so I can use the better scope and the binoculars to check him out. Uh, it looks like he's alone. Uh, oh well. We'll wait and see. This game is just such an amazingly beautiful game. As you can see with the sun dappling through the trees over there and the birds in the background. It just gives you a real feel of, um, of hunting. I've only been hunting twice in my life, um, at both times at an ex's house, 
So, you know, it it manages to simulate it so well, and the development team is just fantastic. They really care, they really listen to what the players want and need. I think he's a little spike at that. Sorry guys, I'm, I'm a little bit uh, like that. I'll talk sometimes and just change tracks very quickly. I can't help myself, it's just something I do. Okay. Yeah, I can't see another one anywhere near him. Hmm. Wonder where that's heading. Shoot the plane, shall we, guys? <laughs> Alright, so... I'll, um, bring you back when you get to a little closer, shall I? Okay, I'm back again. Um... He's not actually as small as I thought. Oh, I'm quite happy to take him. He's a bit bigger than what I've had recently in mule deer. As I said, I haven't hunted them in a long time uh, since before the Turax up update for for them just uh, oh, a couple of months ago, to be honest. I am um, not exactly sure why, but for some reason other animals have been calling to me, so... Um, yeah, I'll use the nice premium arrows. I think they um, add to the effect of the game somewhat. And the rangefinder, just to make sure we get him at a decent range. Check this, which way the wind's blowing. Sort of towards him. And across us. So we'll have to aim a little bit to the right. Sixty, forty-three meters, forty-two, forty-one. He's a nice healthy looking beast, isn't he? Thirty-five. I think the next time he stops we can take a shot. That is, if he presents us one. And we'll have ourselves the first mule deer at the hunt. Fingers crossed anyway. Uh, I think that's been a body shot again too. Those premium arrows just make it so much easier to track and follow them after you hit them. Yeah, he might, looks like he's stuck on a tree. Yeah. Not everything's perfect in this game, of course. It's still always under development. And I don't know if he dropped or if he went out of render range. Alright, guys. Well, I'm going to go try and uh, track this guy down, so... Oh, hang on, I'll show you the first track. We'll check the first blood hit. Sorry, guys, I'm still very new at this, so if you um, have any tips or tricks, please, by any means, let me know. I am very new. I haven't been um, playing... I've been playing this game a long time, but I've never done YouTube videos before, so... Yeah, I thought it was a body shot. Once again, I was a little bit too far right. The wind must have died down at that split second. And he's fleeing up this way. Alright guys, I'll um, bring you back when we find him. In a way, that tree kind of helped. He hasn't got very far at all. He's just standing there. We, um, we might creep up and try and get another shot with the bow on him. He's already dropped. Has he dropped? No, but he's not a well boy. He's not well at all. Oh, where'd he go? He's just there. There he is. And he's just 
Still a long way off for a bow shot. I could follow him until he just drops, but I I don't believe in that. That's cruelty even to a, a make-believe animal. I think I can get a shot off. Uh, that's a long way. A lot further than I thought it was. going to go that far with two of them and sticking out of him. Alright guys, I'll uh, bring you back when I try I just again. heard another one, so I'm going to mark the last track I picked up of him, which was right there, and I think I might try and send this next one in. Where was he? Up in that way. So I'll um, put out my tree stand, my tripod again, not tree stand, uh, tripod. Uh, it was a very early morning this morning, my cat, um, one of the kids left a chicken bone out last night and the cat ended up with a chicken bone stuck in the roof of its mouth and um, yes, it took me about half an hour of wrestling with the cat to f before he finally let me. Take it off him. Oh, this one's very boisterous, isn't he? That's alright though, that means we've got a better chance of uh, listening to him come in. So I'll put this spray, I'm thinking, on this log up here. And then we'll lay down and see what happens. We'll lay in wait for him. Alright, guys, I'll. Um, bring you back if this new one shows up. Okay guys, I just um, picked up a new male. It, it appears that this is going to be the, the group. There's usually a group of uh, four to six male mule deer wandering this area um, together in, in a herd. Um, I can pick up the other male's tracks fairly easily. I mightn't show him he wasn't the best scoring animal and you know, who wants to watch me track down a boring, an animal bite? You know, not that exciting, especially when there were two poor shots on him. So, um, we'll see. We'll wait and see what happens. I'm sorry about that. I had to have a drink of my cup. Cupper, it's about to go cold. Um, such an amazing game. Just absolutely breathtaking. Alright guys, I'll um, bring you back when this group gets a little closer. Okay, um, as you can see, I think, I think that's a nice size white tail actually. I'll check, he just called, so, yeah, it's a nice sized white tail. I really should read the species a bit closer, shouldn't I? And one of the mule deer spray wasn't working and I had to use the caller, so. Well, um, Try and call this one in. This is definitely a nice size. He's not huge, but he's uh, a nice, nice animal. Well, since this isn't a mule deer, I'm going to take him, hopefully, and then I'll record when again when I find the mule deer because I really felt like taking a mule deer this time and I hate to leave and I haven't done what I set out to do so if you can give me uh, a little slack yeah he is a nice size 
Alright guys, I'll uh, bring you back when he's a little bit closer. Alright guys, he's um, not that far away now. I've been making a mistake. I really shouldn't call from where I'm sitting. It leads them straight into you and it makes for a side on shot very hard, but I've been, I've always done it since the day I started playing. Man, where's about 20 meters? Yeah, if he stops in there, we'll be laughing. So, I don't know how to break the habit, to be honest. I just, I like to call probably every 5 to 10 in game minutes, and by doing so, it's very hard to get out of the stand, creep up somewhere, call, then creep back. So, that's usually what ends up happening is I call them straight at me. Not a lot I can do about it. I really should learn better. I need to pick up some tips on that. Okay. I think the next time he stops, we should have a very nice shot on his chest. If he's going to stop. that's a body shot, I'm going to be very disappointed in myself. Very disappointed. I thought that was spot on. Alright guys, um, I'm going to go track down this monster and then this other mule deer and we'll see where we're at. Alright guys, I think I just spotted him. Yeah, he's standing still. misery. Guess what guys, I'm disappointed in myself. It was another body shot. I I don't know how I'm aiming wrong there. I really don't. I'm going to finish tracking him. And then we have to head back to pick up that mule deer. So let's go see, collect out. As you can see, body. I'd... Coyote. I don't think I brought my coyote collar, did I? Oh, I did. Well, I can always take a coyote for you guys if you want. They're so fast. I uh, don't feel like a coyote today, to be honest. Really don't. I might like I'd miss that shot too. Two body shots, 149. Greatest scoring shot went low and to the right by the looks of it. The other one was just a finisher. I decided to finish him off. Sometimes you get a few terrain problems, but I think we have a nice shot of this one. He wasn't perfect, but I'll take him. Alright guys, I'm going to wander back and try and track down that mule deer, and I'll um, get you back when I need to Alright guys, I uh, found him. He hadn't gone that far, actually. <coughs> and it looks like I only hit him once, which, again, I'm very disappointed in myself. Um, maybe we can turn him over somehow, so we can have a look at this shot. Come on. Best way to turn him over. He's got a terrible rack. You probably saw the score. But he's a male mule deer. I wanted that, so we take him. See, that looks like it should have gone into the lungs. Maybe it's a little high. Maybe. But, uh, it's a bit of the wrong angle. Oh well, live and learn. I still need to practice a lot with the compound bow. I used to be quite good at it, and then I took quite a break from the hunter, so we'll 
Let's see. Uh, take a little snapshot of him. I love the uh, non-typical points. I wish you could get points for non-typical. The coyote's just getting closer and closer. Now what? I said I wouldn't hunt the coyote, but I think I lied. I think if we can find a little spot to put this... Somewhere around... Come on. Got this spot I can put it. Here. I'll call him in and we'll see what happens. Alright guys, I might have done something uh, very stupid here. I called him from over that direction. I'm pointing at the screen. Um, he's over there somewhere. So he's going to come up and pretty much pop through these bushes right on top of me. Which, you know, is not the best outcome. Oh, well, there he goes. Just a solo one trotting straight at me. Perfect. He's going to come in somewhere I can watch him. I know you don't have to hop use the call properly, but I like to add to the uh, ambience of the game, truly. I mean, you're not going to go out there and just blow a little beep beep in real life, are you? So, uh, let's get the bow out so they don't stop. And I might have to call this video over. <sighs> ah, good shot. I'm very happy with that one. Don't know if it's a good scoring coyote or not. I actually don't know that much about the scoring of coyotes. I think the bigger, the better. Usually the biggest skull the better, but that's about all I know. Mm, look at that blood hit. What a good hit. Ah, neck and left lung. 39, not the worst score. I always seem to get middle, middle score animals, which I'm, I'm reasonably happy with. Let's see if we can get him off these logs a bit. Or is he wedged? Ugh. Ugh. He's, she's heavy. Come on. She's a heavy coyote. She's caught under that log. As I said, the game's not 100% perfect, but it's a fantastic game, truly. It's the closest thing to a hunting game you're going to get. Honestly, I've played most of the others, deer hunter, things like that, and they just don't compare. This thing's so realistic. There we go. Alright guys, um, I had planned on going over to the tree stand there, but... Oh, I have time. Alright, I'll, um, record, I'll record when something else is wrong. Alright guys, I just received a male mule deer call from over yonder. I'm going to... I haven't gone very far at all, it's all happening in this little spot here, so... I'm going to set up my tripod and we'll wait and see if we can spot him. Unfortunately I've received a female call from the same area so chances are, beg your pardon, chances are she's going to come in first as per usual. So I made sure to call down there somewhere. And in fact I might even spray quickly. Yeah, I've got time. I shouldn't be here for another couple of minutes. So. It's all happening in this little section. I'm thinking um, off camera I'm going to run up here with a tree stand and just put it in one of the trees nearby as this seems to be a nice little area for white tail and mule deer the old coyote, can't complain 
and most importantly I'm not getting pheasant calls all the time. Can't stand pheasant hunting, I never mastered taking one in the air, even with the shotgun. I just, as much as I practice, it's miss, miss, nick, miss. I mean, you'd think if you hit a pheasant... Oh, he's, he's coming. Man, cheeky bugger. Alright guys, um, I'll bring you back when he's within view range. Alright guys, I think I've found our culprit. He's a tiny little little spiker. Um, unfortunately, I am running out of time. My girlfriend will be home from work soon and she likes to have a yap and it will interrupt the recording by quite a bit. So I might take him, he's only little, and then we can call it a day. He's coming pretty quickly. He's only a little spiker, but we'll take him. He's better than a kick in the teeth, as the old Australian saying goes. I always um, look around, check around, because you never know, one might be creeping up that hasn't been calling at all. So, you never know your luck in the big city. I'm just throwing Australian sayings at your left, right and centre now. Fight out like a lizard drinking. So, alright guys, I'll um, bring you back when he gets a little closer. Alright guys, it looks like he's um, brought his girlfriend. So she's going to get to watch him get shot. I'm going to use the bow. I, I love using the premium arrows. I, I know there was a big fight on the forums, which I really can't understand. They don't provide any advantage other than allowing you to see where you hit. I, I can't see why there was such a stink. I mean, use them on premium animals if you want. Use them if you can afford them. Like, there's no argument from me. Alright, we'll get out the range finder. And range him. And when he stops, about there we should have a clean shot. That's where I sprayed, so when he stops on top of that. Yeah, yeah, buddy, I heard you the first time. Hopefully we can get a decent long shot or something on him and he drops, because I am very much sick of chasing them. Very much sick of it. Get out the bow. And he stops on that log. Come on. I'd like to thank you all. Sorry about any noises I've been making. I am. I have had a flu just recently and I'm still getting over that. So, you know, please excuse snorts, sniffles, snuffs, sneezes, coughs, anything like that. I'm sure you all understand what it's like when you're not feeling the greatest and but I really wanted to do another video. You all seem to like the last one, so by all means let me know. Um any any improvements I can make? Oh no you don't. No no no. You're not you're not leaving yet. What are you doing? I'm not finished with you yet, buddy. his attention. So, next time he stops, we'll have a shot at him. Hopefully we can put it in his lungs. Is he going to stop? Perfect. And somehow that hit him in the top. Oh, that was a good shot. Alright guys, let's go collect our prize and we'll, I'll call this an episode. 
I'd like to thank you all for watching, uh, taking the time out of your busy days to help me. I just hope it's entertaining. And sorry about all the waffling on things I do of that nature. I can't help myself. At least I get my tracking up too. I really should come back and um, investigate some more mule deer for next episode. Let us know. Um, I'm thinking one ep one request episode and one episode I feel like doing each week. So, a, head, a lung shot in the head. That doesn't seem right, does it? Neck and my lung. Oh, a little spiker. I didn't even bother looking at the score. He was so small, but... I must have hit him in the windpipe. Alright guys, that's the end of this episode. Thanks for watching, and uh, like, subscribe, leave a comment. I'd love to um, do a request next episode, so if someone wants to see any, any particular animal, something they don't have access to, or a weapon, please, please, just leave a comment and we'll, we'll, we'll do it. That's, that's it. Alright guys, I'll, um... <laughs>